Right, hey, um, these are the notes I want you to get down to copy into your book about this idea of torque. So torque is a, um, a force that tries to rotate something. So it's got a spanner here. If I apply a force, if my hand was here, um, I rotate the spanner. But something, it's either easier or harder if I put my hand uh, in the middle here um, and try and rotate it from here. And that's because torque doesn't just care about the force that's involved, torque cares about the distance of the pivot point. So um, this first blue force, the distance is a large distance, this force that I applied, the distance is much smaller. So um, it's force and distance. And it looks very similar to the formula for work, which is force times distance, but work, force times distance is, um, let's say there's a person pushing a car and they apply a force and they apply it for that distance, uh, this distance here. Notice that the distance here and the, um, the force are in the same direction. So that's why, that's, that's the work formula. In torque, the force and the distance are at 90 degrees to each other. That's what makes torque different. This funny T here, I draw it with a squiggly line and then curl like that. That's the Greek letter tau. And that's the symbol of the torque. Um, we can use the idea for um, to solve seesaw problems and bridge problems. And we're going to do some seesaw problems today and bridge problems tomorrow. Um, once we've got the torque formula, the way we use it is this idea of balance torques. So we get an object, something that's trying to rotate, and we look at the um, torques trying to rotate something clockwise. And they're balanced out by the torques trying to rotate something anti-clockwise. So here we have a seesaw. Here's the middle of the seesaw. This person sitting on the seesaw and their force down on it is going to rotate the seesaw down and it's going to try and rotate it around. I mean, if there's no ground here, it's just going to want to keep going around. So there's a torque. This person, person A, is applying a torque um, trying to rotate the whole seesaw in a clockwise direction. While over here, person B is, um, this is pushing it down and it's trying to rotate it around anti-clockwise. So person B is looking at the anti-clockwise. And we've got a small person, person B, and a big person, person A, but the big person uh, looks and says one meter. The small person's much further out. And so this is balanced because the torques cancel out. The anti-clockwise torques, the force times distance, that should be anti, not an it, is, um, Person B and the clockwise is person A, and they balance each other out. So uh, pause the video, get those notes down, and we'll do an example.